Welcome everyone. This presentation provides detailed step-by-step -step guidance on how to draw up and administer the Janssen or J&J vaccine as outlined in the PAC vaccine job aid. How to draw up the Janssen vaccine is featured on page 11 and 12 of the job aid and we will go through it now step-by-step. -step. Start by cleaning your hands. Follow an aseptic technique and clean your hands well before vaccine preparation between patients or at any other times if your hands become soiled. Next, bring the vaccine to room temperature. Remove it from the refrigerator or cooler box and allow it to come to room temperature for 15 minutes. Check you are using the correct type of vaccine and the concentration and check the expiry date on it. Then inspect the vaccine color. The liquid should be colorless or slightly yellowish. And the clarity of the liquid should be clear to slightly shiny and free of visible or solid particles. Then inspect the vial. Check for cracks or any abnormalities which might be evidence of tampering. Once you have checked and inspected the vaccine, you need to swirl the vial to mix the contents. Do this gently in an upright position for 10 seconds. Do not shake it. Once mixed, you need to clean the stopper of the vial and allow it to dry. You do this by flipping off the blue plastic cap without touching the rubber stopper to open it. Wipe the rubber stopper with an alcohol swab before each dose drawn up. Allow the stopper to dry before inserting the needle. To draw up the dose, choose an appropriate needle length. Use a light blue 23 gauge 1 inch needle unless the client is obese. If the client is obese, then you will need a slightly longer needle to ensure delivery into the muscle. Use either a black 22 gauge 1 and a quarter inch or a blue 23 gauge 1 and a half inch needle. Attach the selected needle to the vaccine syringe, which could be a 0.5 mil, a 1 mil, or 2 mil syringe. Ensure the needle is attached securely. Carefully uncap the needle. Now you are ready to withdraw the vaccine and remove any air bubbles. Hold the vial steady on a flat surface and insert the needle into the rubber stopper. Then pick up the vial and syringe and turn them upside down to withdraw. Withdraw 0.5 ml of the Janssen COVID-19 vaccine. Adjust the plunger to remove air bubbles whilst the needle is still in the vial to avoid loss of vaccine. Try to avoid tapping the syringe or vial. When drawing up the fifth dose, insert the needle into the rubber stopper at an angle to allow access to vaccine in the corner of the vial. If the amount of vaccine remaining in the vial does not provide a full dose of 0.5 ml, discard the vial and contents into the pharmaceutical waste. Do not combine vaccine from multiple vials to obtain a dose. If the vial is empty, discard it into the yellow sharps container. Do not change needles. Use the same needle that you have drawn up the dose to administer the vaccine. If the vaccine is not administered immediately after drawing it up, safely cap the needle. Record the time of the first puncture and the new expiry time. Record the date and time the vial should be discarded on the vial label. After the first puncture, the vaccine, vial or the full syringe can be held in the refrigerator at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius for up to 6 hours or at room temperature up to 25 degrees Celsius for up to 3 hours. Discard the vaccine if it is not used within this time. Preferably use it immediately after the first puncture. In summary, to draw up the Janssen vaccine, you start by cleaning your hands, then you bring the vaccine to room temperature. Then you check and inspect the vaccine, swirl the vial to mix it, next you clean the stopper and allow it to dry. Once the stopper is dry, you choose a needle of an appropriate length to draw up the dose, then you withdraw the vaccine and remove air bubbles. Once the dose is withdrawn, do not change needles. Lastly, record the time of the first puncture and the new expiry time. How to administer the Janssen vaccine is featured on page 13 and 14 of the job aid. We will go through it now step by step. At the beginning
beginning of each day, check the emergency tray or box is fully equipped and discuss team members' roles and responsibilities and processes in the event of emergency. To administer the vaccine, start by positioning yourself well. If not done already, complete the pre-vaccination health check on page 5. Protect yourself. Sit or stand sideways on to the client. Check that the client's mask is covering his or her nose and suggest that the client look straight ahead. Lower your chair if possible so you are eye level with the injection site. Check the contents of the syringe. Is the dose correct? 0.5 mils. Is it a colorless or slightly yellowish fluid? No particles and no discoloration. Then expose the injection site fully. Ask the client to expose his or her non-dominant arm, the one he or she does not write with. If possible, ensure the whole shoulder and upper arm can be seen. The injection site is usually on the left arm unless the client is left-handed or has a rash, bruise, tattoo, redness, swelling or other medical condition, for example an amputation, involving the intended site. Then use the right arm instead. Document the injection site on the EBDS if it is not the left deltoid. Ask the client to rest his or her left hand in his or her lap and relax their arm. Locate the injection site by finding the bony tip of the shoulder called the acromion process. Measure 2 to 3 fingers or 3 to 5 centimeters below this. Use your other hand to form a triangle below this. The injection site should be in the center of the triangle in the thickest part of the deltoid muscle. Remember where this point is. Clean the site with cotton wool and water. Do not use an alcohol swab. Insert the needle by holding the syringe firmly between the thumb and forefinger like you are holding a pencil. Gently stretch and support the skin with the other hand. Avoid bunching the skin unless very low muscle mass. In that case, go to page 15 for guidance. Insert the needle at a 90 degree angle to the skin into the thickest part of the muscle. Insert up to the hilt of the needle. No silver from the needle should be showing to ensure delivery into the muscle. Avoid pushing in too far and dimpling the skin. Stabilize the syringe and inject the vaccine. Move your other hand to stabilize the tip of the syringe. Do not aspirate, there is no need, as there are no large blood vessels here. Depress the plunger and inject the vaccine slowly. Ensure the full dose is given before withdrawing. Remove the syringe safely by pulling the needle out quickly and smoothly. Immediately after giving the vaccine, dispose of the needle and syringe safely in the medical sharps container. Do not try to recap the needle. Avoid filling the sharps container more than three quarters of its capacity or up to the red line marked on the container. Apply light, gentle pressure to the injection site with cotton wool or gauze. If the client has a bleeding tendency or is on anticoagulants, apply prolonged pressure to the site after the injection. Avoid rubbing the injection site. Apply surgical tape to hold the cotton wool in place. Ask the client to stay seated for a few minutes to avoid risk of injury from fainting while you complete the records. Complete the vaccination card and give it to the client. Give the client a post-vaccination information leaflet. Explain that this is a one dose per client regimen and he or she does not need to return for another vaccine dose. Record in the EBDS or the vaccination site data sheet and ask the client to remain for observation for at least 15 minutes after vaccination. If the client is known with severe allergies, observe them for longer, up to 30 minutes. summarize how to administer the vaccine. Position yourself well. Check the contents of the syringe. Expose the injection site fully. Locate the injection site. Clean the site and insert the needle. Then stabilize the syringe and inject the vaccine. 
remove the syringe safely and dispose of the needle safely. Apply light pressure to the injection site, apply surgical tape and record and observe. Thank you for playing your important part in this rollout and serving the people of the Western